Welcome to sunny Southend, the seaside town that's been hauling in the holiday makers since the turn of the century. A hundred years on and it's the property now that has the pulling power. Edwardian houses and weatherboard cottages are prizing open the wallets of potential purchasers. We're a 50 minute train journey from central London, so young professionals living in the fast lane by day are looking for homes to relax in by night. But getting on the property ladder here is tough. The charms of seaside living have sent prices soaring. John Boatman is one of those commuters. She's living with her parents, but can't wait to buy with boyfriend Ewan Marshall, who's a local primary school teacher. They want to live in the most fashionable part of South End, Lee on Sea, but they're not the only ones. I think it's a beautiful seaside resort. You can see there are quite a few bars, and cafes, got all the new shops. There's a lot for children. Sort of everyone wants to live in this nice area and it's just better. The competition for first time flats in Leon Sea is fierce. Dion and Ewan have just started looking and they're already having problems. We've been blown out on appointments, you know, an hour beforehand or half an hour because they've been snapped up so quickly. I don't think you're going to get anything where you can put an offer in that's under the asking price. We need to buy before we're outpriced. We'll need all our professional home finding skills to crack this one. Houses here have shot up by 60% in the last five years. Most important criteria, one is location because I have to commute. I don't want to be walking miles each morning to the station. We prefer the older style properties, the Victorian, the Edwardian. And also, I like the idea of big windows. I like big windows. Light and airy, spacious. They seem to know what they want, but what's their budget? We're first time buyers, we've got our finances in place, we've got about £100,000. Maximum we can probably push to is 105, mm. but we've realistically budgeted for the fact I go out quite a lot. Period property, sea view, tight budget for South End. Hmm, it's going to be challenging. Morning. Hi. Hi. As first time buyers, our couple may not be knowledgeable about the property market but because they don't have a home to sell, they're in a strong bargaining position. Excellent. We better get on with it. Good. We've chosen to kick off in their number one location, Leon C. Our first property is on Oakley Park Drive. It's a balcony flat with two bedrooms and is on the market for £94,995. Ideal for a young couple, it's a stone's throw from the chic cafes of Lee Broadway and for commuter Dion, the station's only a mile away. So it's an Edwardian convertible flat, although excellent, it's got its own front door. Yep. Mm -hmm. Over two floors with the main bedroom up above. Right. Oh, the main bedroom's above. Yeah. OK, excellent. Come and see what you make of the living room. Well, we thought the living room was bright and a well-proportioned room. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's a good size. I can see that you could have other people in here rather than just the two of us. I don't like the marble or the fireplace. I'm sure behind here is the original fireplace. It's just not in keeping architecturally with the rest of the house. Although the balcony outside the kitchen adds extra space, inside there's no room for Dion to party. Swing around and dance while there's I no cook it. There's no room for a table in here. It's no. not as big a kitchen as we would have hoped to have found. Although the kitchen is quite tiny, it needn't be Absolutely. a deal breaker. I, I think I can compensate for having a smaller kitchen. OK. Come this way. <laughs> Wouldn't this? be a better kitchen. This would be a fantastic kitchen. And I happen to know, because I've asked the vendor, but you've got the plumbing there. Uh -huh. when, the ha when the flat was converted, right. this room was the kitchen. No, it's a good size for a kitchen. Equally, the current kitchen mm -hmm. is the right size for your study occasional bedroom. And in this case, simply shifting the kitchen units into the second bedroom would cost less than £300, because the plumbing is already in place. But they'd probably want to put in a whole new kitchen anyway. Now this room, I think, is one of the strongest rooms in the house. It's Upstairs really in the loft is the main attraction. It's a proper master bedroom, isn't it? Well, I think obviously use this to live in quite a lot, yeah. I would think, as well. Now that's troubling me. The roof of the building was redone in 1980, and that may be a problem with the flashing between the roof tiles and the chimney breast. I mean, that, that does worry me, the fact yeah. that I touched it and the sun came down. Yeah. I don't think it's particularly worrying. It needs to be looked into and sorted out. In a case like that, you can say, it's going to cost me X to fix it. Mm. I'm going to knock Y off the asking price. So that's property number one. What do our couple make of it? The kitchen, as it is, is obviously, I think, too I like small. the fact of converting it to the other room and using mm. the kitchen that now yeah. is a spare room. 
I also like the fact that it's quite neutrally deco decorated, so we wouldn't have to do that straight away as we moved in. Mm. That's this is certainly a, a road that is we would favour. Well, early days, but Oakley Park Drive could be a contender. Location, top marks. Style and decor, top marks. But size seems to matter more than we first thought. And with that in mind, property two could be a winner. It's five minutes further on from Lee Broadway in Dawlish Drive. Another conversion, it's a spacious two-bedroom first floor flat. On at the same price as before, £94,995. We reckon you're going to like this one, guys. OK. The immediate impression of coming in this flat is of space. Huge hallway. Nice and light Huge. as well. So this is the room that I thought you'd have as a second bedroom or study. Right. And right. it says okay. quite a lot that this is the smallest room and yet it's enormous. It is. And if you were going to spend any money on altering anything in this flat, I think Which you should windows. start here. Yeah. For a start, you can't get out of them. In a fire, you'd have to break the window to get out, mm -hmm. which is like dangerous. Top bit anyway. yeah. And secondly, do you see that piece of guttering which runs down there? Mm -hmm. It should actually go straight down. And how about this for a living room? Wow. I thought this was a fantastic room. Definitely. Very big. Loads of big windows. It's a blank canvas as well, isn't it? You could do an awful lot with this. The, the thing to do if you've got important bits of furniture that you want to house is actually bring, bring the measurements of them with you on viewings. Mm. Inside, it looks roomy and well-maintained, but what about outside? It's down to the freeholder to manage the upkeep of the outside of the building. If that gut has been like that for a long time, it means someone's not keeping an eye it's on things. Eye. Right. So just bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to buy a flat that's leasehold, check first who's responsible for what parts of the building. You know, a real added bonus of this flat, you it has to be your own garage and garden. And the thing that strikes me straight away is I'm not going to have to do too much work. To not it. too much maintenance required. Do you like figs? There's a fig tree over there. I believe in no, testing everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Make sure I can lie here. I like these bits. Yeah. A bit naughty, aren't they? Reach the towel from the bath. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's nice. We wouldn't have to do much in here. Definitely. But is everything else on tap? Location is good. We're close to the Broadway, within walking distance of the station. Mm -hmm. And I've just spotted the church spire over there, which means we're quite near the local pub. Yeah, that's <laughs> important. Well, they seem impressed. But let's see if we can't find them the same sort of thing for even less money. Next up is Pal Mal. Now, it's not Mayfair, but Leon C again. And this time, we're a little closer to the local train station and Lee Broadway. This flat has the traditional Edwardian layout and it's packed to the rafters with original features that Dion and Ewan love. It's on for £84,950, which is £10,000 less than the last two. Sitting room, beautiful original fireplace, picture rail, cornice, bay window, original stained glass. Mm -hmm. These curtains are hiding it. You want to get rid of those in a flash. Like the fireplace. Fireplace love is lovely. Fireplace. I think mean, that's Definitely. lovely. And again, the windows, I think, are nice. This flat's the first that's kept its original Edwardian layout, which means some of the rooms feel small. I think you could see four around this table. Yeah, at a squash. Three. At a squash. <laughs> the quite small bathroom. Yeah, it's not huge, is it? What do you think? Mm. I mean, clearly, a lot of redecoration. Is that damp because it's peeling? It's I don't a bit... know. That would worry me a bit, I think. The bathroom and kitchen are in need of a revamp. But this flat is below budget and spending £2,500 on the kitchen could add as much as £5,000 to the resale value. But Ewan has other concerns. That road will get extremely busy as well. That's the school just down there, so there'll be a lot of traffic. Yeah. Equally, there's, there's no parking. Many first-time buyers worry about the cost of getting a new place that needs lots of work done to it. But if you buy cheap, you can use what you've saved on improvements and be no worse off and tailor-made mortgages for buying and renovating are there to help. It's the end of day one. How do our first-time buyers feel about what they've seen so far? Uh, we like the Dawlish Drive property. We felt it was the biggest. Yep. We also thought that it, it had the garage, it had the garden. Oh. It also, the fact that it was vacant, and as we have no chain either, we could move straight in there. So what do you want to do now? Do you want to decide that Dawlish is the one for you, or do you want to go on and see some more? I think we should go on and see some more, get more of a comparison with the prices and what's on offer, and then decide from there. 
so Doylish Drive is the current front runner. Day two and we're casting the net a little wider and exploring further afield. It's helpful to be focused but not to have tunnel vision. We wanted to show Dion and Ewan what they could get for their money just outside the most expensive area of town. Our fourth property is in the heart of South End itself. Big plus, it's only 10 minutes for Dion to the station, but it's further from the seafront, which is why it's a cheaper area. So you really can get more for your money. In this case, Swanage Road, a three-bedroom detached house. It's on at £106,950, but we hear the vendors looking for a quick sale, so it could go for less. Well, let's see what you think of this. Detached whole house to yourself, mm -hmm. own okay. front door. The potential here has already got Kirsty going. But, you know, you could put a conservatory on the back, you could maybe knock out the side, you could maybe extend into the roof. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do with this house. But that's your dining room through there, and mm, you right. really just want to open it up. it. Because yeah. it's just too small a kitchen for a house. Obviously, this is the wall that you've knocked down. Slight added problem, the radiator's here, and you'd have to move that. But that's not impossible. You'd end up with one. Good size. Huge. Room. Yeah. But what you could have, you see, is you could have what they call a family room. Mm. This is the third As the decor's so neutral, it's easy to see that all the rooms are spacious, light and airy with large windows. Exactly what Dion and Ewan are after. It's twice the size of the flats we've shown them, with a 60-foot garden and their space to park two cars, or even build a double garage. But is it what they want? It's not the area that we know or are familiar with them. It's I don't think it's really where we see ourselves. OK. So despite the extra space and the independence a detached house has to offer, living in an area they know is more important to them. I just, I don't know, I thought maybe their own front door, but nothing seems to get them away from the draw of Dawlish Drive. It's a very strong property. As first-time buyers, they're very re realistic about what they want, what they can afford and where they want it. Yeah. And it meets everything. It is a killer combo, that garage garden thing. A bit like us, Kirsty. <laughs> Especially in our matching tops. I know, what do you reckon we're a killer combo? <laughs>